Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to pitch for a united global approach in dealing with the situation in Afghanistan and combating challenges of climate change and coronavirus pandemic at the two-day G20 summit in Italy beginning October 30th, people familiar with the development said on Sunday. PM Modi is likely to leave for the visit to Italy and Scotland either on Thursday or Friday, they said. The G20 Heads of State and Government Summit will be held in Rome on October 30th and 31, with the participation of the leaders of the grouping and representatives of some of the main international and regional organizations. The G20 leaders are expected to deliberate on several key challenges such as recovering from the coronavirus pandemic, addressing climate change, and overcoming poverty and inequality in various parts of the world. The situation in Afghanistan is expected to figure prominently at the summit, said one of the people cited above. Prime Minister Modi is likely to present India's perspective to combat the key challenges facing the globe and is expected to call for a united approach to the situation in Afghanistan as well to deal with the pandemic and climate change. In a virtual address at the G20 Extraordinary Summit on Afghanistan earlier this month, Modi called for a unified global response to bring about desired changes to the Afghan situation and said the territory of Afghanistan must not become a source of radicalization and terrorism. Modi will also have a series of bilateral meetings on the sidelines of the G20 Summit, the people said. The G20 is a leading global forum that brings together the world's major economies. Its members account for more than 80% of the global GDP, 75% of global trade, and 60% of the population of the planet. The forum has met every year since 1999 and includes, since 2008, a yearly summit with the participation of the respective heads of state and government. Since December last year, Italy has been holding the presidency of the G20. In Scotland's Glasgow, the Prime Minister will attend the COP26 summit, billed as one of the biggest ever congregations of world leaders and experts in combating climate change. The COP26 climate conference is taking place from October 31st to November 12th and the leaders and delegates are expected to delve into ways to bring climate change under control. On Thursday, Foreign Secretary Harsh Vardhan Shringla, highlighting India's climate action and meeting its nationally determined contributions NDCs, related to the Paris Climate Agreement, said that New Delhi intends to go in with a strong message with full commitment to COP26. We are perhaps the only G20 country to have fulfilled our NDCs and outperformed them, Shringla said in a virtual address at the India Global Forum.